Right. One of the highlights of this year's Melbourne Documentary Film Festival is a film called Planet Soil, The Little Things That Run the World. And it's my great pleasure to be speaking to the producer of that film, Planet Soil, Ignace Van Schaik. Uh, Ignace, welcome to Movie Metropolis. Thank you, Peter. Uh, this is such a, a beautifully produced film about uh, Dutch farmers and uh, and how the soil and what's under the soil is more important, perhaps, than what's on top of the soil. How did this uh, documentary all come about? Yeah, well, it's 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 one of the I think the fifth or sixth film we're producing, and we meet together with Mark Kerk, the director. And we always try to we make nature films, and we always try to make the unseen seen. And and this was a subject, the soil, which is uh, something we experience every day. We walk above it, but we don't know what's underneath it. Why? And at the same time, it's it's the basis of our existence. So that was for us a nice challenge to see if we could make a movie about this subject. Uh, about four years ago, we started, and and have been working on it uh, until March this year when we released the film in uh, in the Netherlands, in the cinema. Uh -huh. uh, how very interesting. Four years, wow. Uh, you found some really interesting people and their farms and their land uh, to talk to. How did you find mm -hmm. them and how easy was it to film them? Yeah, well, that, that was quite the easy part of the film, uh, finding the people and filming them. Uh, it's, it's all above ground. Uh, but but what you see in the in the Netherlands, I think it's a worldwide uh, development that there's more and more attention to the the, the value of the soil, of the healthy soil for us uh, people to to base that's the base of our existence. Um, so in in the Netherlands, there's a lot, a lot of people are active with this transition in in how we produce our food. Um, and in the film, we didn't uh, want to make a, just a nature film with only the natural images because then it would be almost uh, be like uh, some form of science fiction because it's very a subject which is not really in the in the heart of people and so we added those those people talking about their um, connection to nature and the connection to to producing food in a in a biodiverse way um, and they were quite easy to find because there's there's there are lots of people in Holland who are uh, working on this uh, but we want to make this this as 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 broad as possible because in the film you have to cho to choose of course which subjects you touch and which you don't so we had a list of maybe a hundred people and we decided to select just an, a, a few to be able to make it part of the film okay well, well done on that now i must say the the actual filming of uh, the plants the uh, creatures under the soil etc absolutely incredible now that must have been quite painstaking to film yeah, that was that was the biggest challenge I, I think for this subject because we we have been producing films, uh, maybe you know one of two of them, like the New Wilderness and and Wild Amsterdam, and those were all all films about the the biodiversity above ground, and this was of course a micro world which you have to yeah find a way to film and and we did um, a lot of research on the subject on how can you film those those uh, those those small creatures. And we worked together with a number of scientific uh, uh, organizations here in, in the Netherlands because they are used to watching through a microscope to the small creatures. So we built a studio set with 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 six K four cameras with lots of lights and be able to have small trays with with soil in it, which were normally standing in in our in our garden on a vertical base with all kinds of holes in it. So the the natural life could go through it and when we start filming we would get, get them out of the garden and put them under our uh, installation and that was uh, a good way of filming those small uh, animals but we also did some very extended time lapses like you 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 have the, the compost uh, which is of course is, is a transition to the leftovers of your 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 garden to a healthy soil uh, but it takes about five months so we did some time lapses where we took every hour uh, a photo of a very small small uh, piece of, of, of compost pile. And then you see this, this whole transition of those small animals uh, eating all the, uh, the leftovers from the garden and, and transfer, transforming it to, uh, to a healthy soil. So that was 
something which which went wrong a lot of times so that's why we took four years in the making of the film but at, at the end we had enough material and and, and it's of, of course it succeeded but some of those time lapses went went on for five months and we took one photo every hour so yet really uh, to keep the conditions uh, on the same level because when you take uh, photos for five months you don't want to change the lights you don't want to change mm -hmm. the humidity of the uh, of the subject so that was quite for us a, a challenge so so i think almost 80 percent of all the of, of all the images you see in the film is studio uh, studio created uh, so for us as film nature filmmakers a different challenge I, I, absolutely incredible. I, I I found those images and the time lapse, as you say, absolutely sensational. And uh, and I suppose it's eye opening for a lot of audiences that would not normally experience or see any of that. Yeah, well, well, we launched the film in in and like I said in March in the in the Dutch cinemas. It went out in 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 sixty cinemas. And for us, it was was in in the campaign. It was quite difficult because it is not really a sexy subject, uh, the soil. So, and you, you don't only want to reach out for the uh, let's say dark green people, but also the general audience. So we had had an extensive campaign to 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 use uh, ambassadors and to use people who who know something about the soil to, to 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 tell the story around the film. So that that's and it was quite successful. We have we have now sixty thousand people have, have visited the film in in Holland. So that's quite a lot for a non-fiction title. So we were able to have this, yeah, so somehow somehow difficult subject being brought to the to the to the to the bigger audience to our ambassadors who uh, were talking about the, the the phenomenal images and and the importance of the subject. And so it triggered a lot of people. And and the nice thing is we did a lot of Q and A's. In Holland, that that it's 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 not a film uh, about wrong or right. Uh, it's a film about inspiration, and lots of people are inspired by the film and also start thinking about what they can do themselves. So, mm -hmm. I think the word to mouth was very important for this uh, for this film uh, also to be have to, the first audience tell the story to their uh, friends and family. Uh, absolutely, well done on that. I think that's great the way you've rolled that out. And uh, I mean, there's also a, a a fairly strong environmental message that uh, is part of the film about how important we need to look after the soil, look after what's going on, because uh, there are changes happening in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's something which because Holland is a very densely populated country, and and and. But but you have to understand that that in in food production we are the second largest exporter of food in the world uh, after you, the U.S. So it's unbelievable how high the productivity of the country is. But at, at the same time, it's 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 not good for the for for the soil because we use a lot of fertilizers and pesticides. Mm. So so you, in in Holland is a good example of 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 how the degradation of soil has been taking place in the last couple of decades. And, and we think it, it's a good example for the rest of the world because the problems which are playing a role in Holland are the same as in Australia or in the US or in Africa. So that, that's something which, which we want to uh, use the film for to, 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 to share the message. And because sometimes Holland is a, guide, a guiding land on water, um, water management or agriculture uh, uh, developments. And now we want to, with this film also show that we we can change the system uh, in in the way we use the soil. If we work together with the soil, where nature is leading and not the humans are leading with all kinds of technical technical issues where where we degrade the soil. But we have to look at the soil and 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 see how important it is that that the biodiversity underground is is being kept uh, as as the basis of our existence. And that's what's so important about a film like yours and, and uh, screening at a documentary film festival like in Melbourne, to alert yeah. audiences, to make people aware, because film does have the power to change. Yeah, I think that that's something which, which is also nice to, 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 to be uh, present at, at, at festivals, because it, it gives, uh, when you're in the cinema and you watch the film, then you, you totally focus on the story uh, of the film and not... Uh, like on television, all doing three, four things at the same time. Mm. Uh, so, so we think the the cinema and, and these and these kinds of films where you take the time to tell a story and and you take people along in in the story are very important to change them and to make them aware of of things which are very important for us. So, so we like the 
we like making films and, and we're not focusing on television or online, but, but mainly on uh, on producing theatrical uh, films. Oh, that's terrific. Now, tell me, with all the footage that you shot, um, uh, etc., tell me about the editing process, because that's always the uh, some of the more difficult uh, aspects of making a film. Yeah, that, that's something which is very, very uh, extensive as well for, for us kinds of films, because most people know about the, the fiction films who are out there are edited in quite a short period. Uh, but we 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 use our we 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 shoot the the footage and we at the same time we start editing so it's a process which runs together for the the, the production time and and it's also uh, you you of course and at, at the beginning you make a script and 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 like like in, on every film but it's it's really building building the blocks of your of your house which the film is uh, along the way and and changing it and. Also, what's very important in the in the editing phase is the is the sounds and the music. Uh, mm. So we don't we don't wait with the music uh, composing until the end of the uh, editing process. But we we work together with the composers at at from from day one almost to make temp tracks to 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 listen to to watch the the images to. So it's it's really a a a crossway of 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 sound and an image which 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 builds the film uh, if, uh, at the end but it's it's because you work with a lot of different camera types and and, and like we work with the small copros to the to the bigger uh, camera system so it's it's not only the the editing process but also the the the, the, the post production the coloring and the grading which is quite a big challenge to get it all in one one look and feel for 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 the in, in in the end product. So so it's it's quite a challenging way of working, but but it, it's 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 good. And I think uh, Mark Mark Verkerk, the director, is also you know, reviewing the post production, and and he is an experienced uh, editor. Um, like I mentioned, he, is, he has been working in Australia for maybe thirty years ago uh, when he started his career. Uh, but since then, we've been working together. So you have to, uh, some kind of a basic team where you build per project, you build with specialists uh, on subjects, uh, a team which works together. And I think it's the, that's the fun pro process also of the of these kinds of productions that you take the time to 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 yeah, to develop the film. Yes, I'm glad you mentioned Mark. He wasn't able to join us today, but uh, um, I, I remember his film Buddha's Lost Children going back a number right. of years. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's <laughs> well. Fun thing is to know we, we're we're now working on a um, re-release of the film in the cinemas huh? uh, because it, it was a film. It, it was released in 2006. Yeah. Um, but it, it was worldwide a really uh, important film as well on on of course on a different subject but it's, it's on a very um, broad audience was very interested in it so we are now releasing it again and I think early spring next year in the Dutch cinema so we hope to also to yeah. see if we can do this abroad. Oh, how interesting to hear that! <laughs> That's great. Now, now with Planet Soil, I, the other thing I found interesting is you use a, a fair bit of drone. Um, photography and what I also found interesting is that uh, with the credits at the end of the film there's another sequence uh, after the credits which we right. tend to see now in films I like the way you did that <laughs> <laughs> well we, we we started it with, with our earlier film uh, called uh, Wild Amsterdam ah. where we, we we shot a scene which, which which we couldn't fit into the film it was about an alligator living in Amsterdam which was really special ah. so we decided well we, we can't miss it so we, we 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 stitch it on the end of the film and, and it was, well it's, it's it's nice because when people are sitting in the cinemas and the end roll uh, rolls it's, it's nice to give them an extra so they go <laughs> home with a good feeling and we had some nice examples of of, of farmers in Holland who are working on uh, on 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 with nature and and so it was good to have them uh, also uh, in the film and we end with 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 children because I think the, the future generations are very important and they should also have this inspiration uh, with the film so we we and we we did the last thing on a on a primary school in uh, in Holland with some children who are discovering the soil which we found very much uh, 
yeah, inspiring also. So that's something which we use in most of our films as, as almost as, a, as a, an extra for the cinema. Sometimes people start walking out of the cinema and they wait, and they, they, they sit again. So it's a bit disturbing also for them. So it's good, it's good to have, have something which is not so recognized. <laughs> I like that. So everyone watching the film, take note, don't leave at the end of the credits. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, we also were inspired by by the, by the, the kids. We also make, made, made a junior version of the film, uh, ah. uh, Soul Junior. Uh, because we think it's it's the film is, is is quite complex for children in the age of seven to fourteen, so we developed uh, a second film uh, with children being the main characters uh, in to, together with of course with with the nature scenes, and that, that went out in April here in Holland, and we're also intending to do some some international youth festivals with uh, with the film, uh, so I think it's always part of our job is to develop educational material so that's also the, the younger generations can uh, be inspired and I think that those are uh, those kids are the future I think and maybe we are already the lost generation <laughs> of, uh, of the of, 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 of the past decades and, and think inspiring kids is very important yeah I absolutely agree with you that's terrific that you you've done a version for for children uh, is there a website for the film? Yeah, you can you can find us on on we, we have a LinkedIn page, which is a showcase page where we, we post all kinds of, of, of things, which is Planet Soil uh, on LinkedIn. But we also have a website, um, I think it's called Planet Soil uh, the film dot com. So you can find us there and, and we're now focusing on on um, doing a lot of festivals. So we're, we're in Australia, we went to New York, in France, in, in Germany. So I think we're doing uh, almost 20 festivals in the coming period. And we're now focusing on the international release of the film, uh, which we we will, we will not do in a traditional way. But we are looking for for partners in each country who are working on regenerative farming, on green projects. So that those are the, our, our ambassadors uh, abroad. So if there are any people uh, people in in Australia who are interesting, please do contact us because I think in Australia as well. There's lots of initiatives on regenerative farming because you also have the challenges in your country with with drought, with with fire, and so so I think it's very interesting to see not to launch it on the, the traditional way through an agent or a distributor, but see if we can find uh, people who, who who want to uh, adapt the the film to to use it uh, in the way we use it in Holland to 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 create this awareness. Uh, we're also now working on as a primary uh, territory on on the US, which goes very well, um, and 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 we noticed the same interest as we we had in Holland. So we we're very happy to to see that Planet Soil is, is an international subject and an international film, which which creates this awareness, which I think is very important for us people uh, in the way we want to live for the coming decades on Earth, and 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 of course that's something which we want to do as broad as possible. So. We're not focusing on releasing the film on Netflix or other main channels because then you're you're part of a very large offering of films, maybe a thousand or two thousand titles. And how are people going to find our titles? So I think the the micro the micro approach on distributing, like in the film, is is I think good for this film. I like that that uh, curated approach and and finding partners who are like minded and uh, and can promote the film and and uh, talk about the issues. I think that's a terrific way of doing it. Right. So uh, apart from all that, uh, Ignace, are you working on uh, with Mark probably another film at the moment? Yes, we are working on a film which is called uh, the Wild North Sea. Uh, or the North Sea is is a film is a, a sea. Uh, 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 close to the Netherlands and, and England, and so it's, it's it's a small sea, but very biodiverse and very uh, peculiar as, as 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 an ecosystem. And this film is is, is we started it uh, almost six years ago, so it took a very long time to produce. Uh, but it will be out next September, so September twenty twenty four. It will be out in in Holland, um, and it's 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 a nature film where we where we follow. Because also there we want to have a, some kind of an impact uh, story, so we follow the main the DOP, so the, our director of photography, uh, Peter van Rodijnen, who is a filmmaker and a cameraman for over thirty years. So we follow his quest through the North Sea to take the viewers along with the 
the questions because there's a lot of uh, issues on the North Sea as well with, with wind energy on sea and with, of course, fishery and transport. So it's a very uh, densely used uh, sea, but it's also very biodiverse and very rich sea. So that's a film which we now, I think we also almost have 80% of our footage shot and we're now in the process of editing. And this will be our focus for next year, releasing in Holland. And then, of course, we also take it on a journey uh, abroad. And it will also be accompanied with, and that's something which we normally don't do, but with a four-part series, which we're producing for a Dutch uh, public broadcaster, which is more of a, a human interest uh, stories about the sea and our connection to the sea. So that's a different uh, a different uh, approach than, than, of course, the, the theatrical film. Uh, but it's it's a nice combination of being using both media to be able to reach out for a large audience. So that's our, our next focus. And after that, we're also working on a film on the Dutch Caribbean, so ah. it's uh, South America. And uh, so that's also fun. Uh, we'll be going there after we have released the North Sea. We'll be filming there for a year. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to changing to uh, a different uh, climate. <laughs> Well, what terrific plans! What great sounding films! And uh, it's it's really so interesting to hear your your filmography and and uh, how you work and uh, the topics that you do because they're so fascinating. So, congratulations on that. We've been talking to Ignace Van Shake, who is the producer of Planet Soil, screening as part of the Melbourne Documentary Film Festival in July. Ignace, thank you so much for talking with me. Yes, thank you, Peter, and good luck. And this we're not able to be at the Melbourne Festival, but maybe some online things as well. So I uh, hope to, uh, you enjoy it there. Okay. Thanks again. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.